Hello and welcome to the third and final part of this series of After Effects courses. This is the advanced level so it's going to be harder than the previous one but don't worry we're going to teach you well. To begin this course I want to teach you about a, a very useful tool called the Puppet Pin Tool. And this is the Puppet Pin Tool, this little pin right here. And what this tool, tool does is that it allows you to place little pins in the joints of your character so that you can rotate them manually and you can create some sort of animation like if it was a puppet so let me show you exactly what this does I will have this illustration from FreePick and if I open this composition you can see that I already divided this character into all the parts of the body I have the head in one layer the two parts of the hair, I have the body, I have the right and left arm and the right and left leg. So what I'm going to do with the puppet pin tool is to create a rig for the character. So I'm going to take first my puppet pin tool, you can see it here, and you can see that it has three options. We're going to see about these two later, but right now we're going to use the puppet pin tool. Now you can see that when we are on one place on one part of the body you can see a little box surrounding the body so I'm going to click here on the shoulder because this puppet pin tool is best used on joints so in an arm the joints would be the hand, the elbow and the shoulder so I'm going to click here on the shoulder and you can see a little pin here, this circle, this yellow circle, is a pin. I will create another one on the elbow, which should be around this point. And I'm going to create another one in the hand. So I have three pins. And now, if I move this pin, you can see that I can bend the image as I want. If I move the elbow, it moves like this. And if I move the shoulder, I can move it here. So this is what we can use to create character animation. Later on the course, we will create a wonderful exercise where we will apply this knowledge, the puppet pin tool, with uh, some characters and create some wonderful movements. But right now, I want to show you exactly what this tool does. So, I have these pins. And, of course, I can animate them. You can see that now on my layer, I have on if effects, I have a new one called Puppet. And now on Puppet, I can see a new options. I have Mesh, because if you click here on Mesh, click on Show, you can see that it created some sort of mesh for this arm and this mesh is what tells us how the distortion of the part of the body will be I can change the expansion because it's way too big right now I will leave it as zero and I can decrease the, ca the quantity of triangles if I want a more detailed distortion, I would add many triangles so that it distorts differently. But I can work with this right now, maybe a hundred or something. You can see the mesh right here. And if I move this, you can see that the mesh moves along. Now, I have these pins and you can see on the properties, mesh one, you can see triangles and expansion, which is the same as these ones. And if you click on the form, you can see the three pins. So we can rename this. For example, I can rename this as right hand so that I don't get lost. This would be right elbow. And this would be right shoulder. Now, you can see that all the pins that we have created all come with a keyframe. It's a default key, 
keyframe for the position that this point has right now. So if I move forward and move this pin I created an animation. So you can see how character animation works with the pins. Of course, on the exercise I'm going to use a plugin that makes this so much easier, but this is a nice tool, an excellent tool that allows us to control the body of a character. For example, let's me let me try this on the right leg. Make sure you are have selected the layer. Now I'm going to place a pin here and another one here on the knee and another one on I'm going to place it here on the ankle. Uh, or on the foot here. All right. Now, if I move this pin, you can see how it does. So, if I want to create a walking cycle, I could grab these two pins. You can grab two pins by clicking on one and with shift clicking on the other one. I could create something like this. You can see she's kind of dancing right now. And you can see that she is not moving in this point because this pin is stiff right now. If I move only this layer, this pin, I'm going to move the foot, but this will stay still because it has a pin here. If I remove this, let me turn off the mesh. If I remove this pin, you can see that the movement is different because it doesn't have any pins here on the knee, so the movement would not look so good. So if you want to move a body part, the best thing that you can do is to add pins into every joint. But, of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be on body parts. You can place a pin here on the head. Maybe you want to add some pin here. Maybe one on the cheeks. And we can move the face in a weird way. Of course this is not the idea of the tool but it can be accomplished so we can try different things for distortion. All this tool does is to distort a character in several parts but the good thing is that you can manually set the distortion. Now, this doesn't all only works on vector files, of course. We can add some image. I have this image here. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. And Okay, I have this guy doing lifts and I'm going to create a pin here on the shoulder. I'm going to create another one here on the elbow and another one here on the arms. Let me set this to a lower resolution. And now I can move the arms like this. 
of course it looks the idea of this tool you can move the arms as you want so I can create some sort of animation where for example let me get back to where it was and I'm going to take these two pins I'm going to open my properties here you can see that they already have keyframes I'm going to take these two and move one second and I'm going to move them like this and then on the next second I'm going to copy the first keyframes and I'm going to see how it looks okay of course th this needs fixing something over here right now but you can see how what it can be accomplished and that this mesh can be applied not only to vector files but it can be applied to image of course this image was separated into layers the arms are in one layer and the body in another layer let me add some pin tools to these two one here on the elbow and on the hand I'm going to take these two and here I'm going to move them here on this point and I'm going to copy the sphere's keyframes here and let's see how it looks alright so you can see that we can do this to images too so it's a really fun tool we can create great things with it like the character that we just animated and later on the course we will create a character animation based entirely on this puppet tool and another great plugin that I'm going to teach you about so we will create some movement for this for the body for the arms for the legs and we will create some nice animation with a nice character from freepik so but you can you see how cool the puppet pin tool now on the next lesson I'm going to teach you about the other two options on the puppet pin tool